Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my holy grail products. The products that I can't seem to put down and the ones that I use constantly all the time. So in this video, you are gonna learn what are my favorites um, and what are the products that I seriously cannot live without. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the very first product that I wanna share with you guys, it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I seriously use this every single day and I actually already ran out of one and now I'm on my second one, which I am almost out. And I also have an extra one for my clients. So this is seriously has been one of my favorite setting um, sprays for the longest time. I always like to use it before I apply my makeup and then after I apply my makeup. And it really does seal my makeup and it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't budge. Now for foundations, I get a lot of questions on Instagram and on YouTube on what foundation I use. And I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I am in the color Sand. I love, love this foundation. I love how this stuff makes my makeup stay on very very long and it doesn't even make me break a sweat which is the reason why i also really like this foundation and it does last a very very long time um there was actually one day where i did go out and i left my makeup on um and the next day i woke up with my foundation still on so this is seriously like one of the best foundations i have ever used i keep going back to like other foundations and i always find my way back to this little guy so i am you know we are, we are like meant to be, you know what I mean? Like we are like Bonnie and Clyde, like we have to be together. Like I love this foundation so much. Um, you can find it at Nordstrom's is where I normally get mine or even online. And then I like to apply it with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge. Uh, mine's a little tore up, I need a new one. It's a little dirty because I actually just used it um, to create this makeup look. So I love, love this little guy. Um, I know that a lot of people use their original Beauty Blender. And don't get me wrong, it's a really great sponge as well. Um, I just, I've tried it before. Um, I don't know why I didn't like it on myself or I don't like to use it. I just feel very weird. I don't know if it's because I've been using these for a very long time and I seriously can't seem to put this little baby down. So um, I really, really like this sponge and you can't beat the price. It's like $6, I think, and the original Beauty Blender is 20. And when a girl is on a budget, you know, I can't buy, you know, 10 sponges for 20 bucks when I do my freelancing job. So it gets very, very expensive and these have done the job. I've even had clients go out and buy one. So this has seriously been like one of my favorite sponges to use. Now for concealers, I love my Maybelline Age Rewind Stick Concealer. I absolutely am obsessed with this. This seriously has been one of my holy grail products. I always use this on myself for the longest. I'm in the shade light or even I like to grab the shade neutralizer, I think. Yeah, neutralizer. I love these concealers. They blend out so nice. It makes your skin look so soft. It doesn't crease on me, which is a big plus for me. And especially for being a drugstore concealer, this has seriously done miracles underneath my eyes. So it's a really great concealer, you guys. It really does high dark circles. You do color correct those dark circles and you put this on top, it seriously blends like a dream. So I am in love with this stuff and it's super affordable too. It's from the drugstore. You know, some concealers can run up to twenty to thirty dollars. This is like I think like ten dollars. Um, it's still a little pricey for being in the drugstore, but it's still pretty affordable. Now for lipsticks, you guys, I always use this on a lot of my pictures on Instagram, and it's the Anastasia Stripped Liquid Lipstick. It's like the perfect pinky nude lip, which is why I love this. And then the formula, you guys, it's beautiful it's soft and it goes on the lips very nice it glides on super nice and then when you eat i've never experienced a butthole with this liquid lipstick if you guys don't know what a butthole is i will link a picture right here for you guys and i'll show you guys what a butthole means and even though whenever um i see that i don't have any more lipstick i apply more and it doesn't crack I know that some liquid lipsticks, once it's already on your lips and you go on top and you apply more, it starts to instantly crack or it feels like you have crumbs on your lips. So I really, really love the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Now for the eyes, I've recently, um, well not recently, but I've 
been searching all over Instagram on how people carve out the eyes and how they make it look so clean. And so I did my investigation and then I discovered um, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer um, in the color Eden. And ever since I actually figured out how they would carve out you know, cut creases and like other colors and stuff and I noticed that they would use the Urban Decay primers and I would always use concealers and I've noticed that whenever I did concealers on my lid it would always tend to crease and then when I saw people using this I was like, okay, let me give it a shot and see if it's true you know, because sometimes people lie what they use and you go and use it and you're like, what the heck, it doesn't even work but when I saw that a lot of people were using this, I was like, okay, I have to give it a try. So I went to Urban Decay um, inside Sephora and I bought it and I seriously can't seem to never put it down. Every time I create a cut crease or any makeup look that I want a, a pigment to actually stand out or that I don't want it to fall, this has seriously worked so good for me. Now the next thing is a eyeshadow pigment and it's the Dose of Colors um, Ideal Duo in Sunset. I love these. I can't wait to invest more in these. Um, I love how this has like the base or the eyeshadow cream right here. So you put this on first and then you go on with the, thinking it's like a glitter, <laughs> like a glitter eyeshadow or loose pigment. It's super gorgeous. I actually have this right now in the crease area where I did cut my cut crease and I am obsessed. I love to use this for brides and I saw a lot of, that they have a lot of colors like, like metallics and like other like purples, greens and I really want every single one of them. Um, they do run for $30, um, it's a little pricey, um, so that's why I haven't gotten the chance to actually buy more, but I'm glad I got this color that actually, this color actually caught my eye on the website, so I really wanted to give it a try. I'm such a huge fan of bronzy colors and browns colors that I wanted to give this one a shot, and I'm absolutely obsessed. I use it all the time and it's in the color sunset. Now to set my makeup. I know you guys have seen me set my makeup a lot recently with the RCMA translucent powder. I love, love, love this palette. Shout out, palette, palette, powder. I love this powder. Shout out to my girl Morelia. She was the one that did give this to me and I can't seem to put him down. I use him every single, who's text me? I use this powder every single day to set my makeup and my concealer. I just love how it's a, um, it really mattifies my makeup and it really does help my makeup last a lot longer and it provides no flashback. So that's a big huge plus um, and this one is only $12. Well, not this one, but I mean they do have one on their website. It looks like a, it's in like a spice bottle. So it's pretty cute and that one is $12. Um, I don't know how much this one runs for, um, but I will link it down below if you guys are interested in getting the bigger size. Um, I like the big size she gave it to me a long time ago and I still have a grip load so I if you want to spend the little extra cash and get the big one I really do recommend it but the other one is still a very good size and for 12 bucks heck why not and to contour my very round big head of mine I like to go in with the Tarte Tarteous Contour Palette by Tarte and I love this contour palette you guys I don't know if you guys have seen the one that Makeup by Sheila came out with that one's really great for deeper skin tones this one I love it for me because I am um, pretty fair skinned and I love to use this shade right here as you guys can tell it's the only one that I use for my clients I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palettes in medium and in light um, because those are my favorite as well my clients get the best of course um, but I really enjoy this one a lot for myself just love this contour shade and the blush is bomb um, but this is the one that I always 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 grab for this is actually my second one that I'm going through for myself um, and you can also get this at Sephora now another concealer that I love to use to carve my eyebrows and to actually use as a base for whenever I'm done doing my eyebrows for my eyeshadows is the Hard Candy Glam Glam of Lodge, Glam of Lodge Heavy Duty Concealer in the color Light. I love, love this concealer. I've used it for years. I've used it for such a long time. When I actually first started doing makeup, this is the first concealer that I've ever, ever used and I did not like it to put it underneath my um, eyes because it was very, very heavy. Um, but I did love it to carve out my eyebrows. So I really, really love this concealer and I like it because 
a little bit goes a long way and this concealer can last you for months I've had this for a very long time. I think I've had this since like the ends of November of last year and I still have a grip load. Again though, I do use it for my eyebrows. Obviously, I'm not gonna use it for any other areas of my face because it is pretty heavy. Now for brushes, I have been obsessed with these brushes and I use them constantly every time I do my makeup. And one of the brushes that I love to use to highlight, it's the ABH A23 brush. I love this little guy because it really does apply my highlight very, very nice. And it's very soft and smooth. And whenever you clean it, um, it cleans so good and so fast. And I don't have to be there and scrubbing it off to get all the product out. So I really enjoyed this highlighting one. I will link the price down below. Uh, but if you guys ever get a chance to buy this, you guys need this brush. It's a game changer and I love it. The next one is my MAC 217. I love this brush to actually do a cut crease or to even smoke out my um, transition colors. Um, anything to do with this brush, I love it. Love it for my crease area. It's one of the best brushes and it is on the price he said. I think it's like $25, um, but it's worth your $25. Let me tell you, when you guys invest in this baby and you start to blend out your colors, it blends them out so good and so soft that I can't seem to ever change it for a different brush. Um, I do have some of the Morphe brushes that are a little bit more um, puffier and more softer too. Um, but I just love this brush for the crease area. So again, this is the MAC 217 brush. Now, if you guys have seen my channel for the longest or have been following me on Instagram for the longest, I always use my MAC 266 to do a cut crease. This is seriously like one of the best brushes I have used to create a cut crease or even to apply gel liner. It really does carve out the wing so good and the cut crease, which is the one that I actually use to create this cut crease today. This is the one, this is the bad boy that you need in your kit. If you are doing freelancing and people do ask you for a cut crease or anything sharp on the eye, this is the bad boy to have in your makeup kit. Now this is gonna be a Morphe contour brush. I love this one, it's the Morphe E4 brush to contour. And I love it because it is angled for contouring. And it's super soft and it's not hard. I've used actually a few older Morphe brushes and I think, um, I don't know what collection that was, but I did not like it because it actually was very stiff and there were white bristles. So I don't know if this Elite collection is better. This one has seriously been like one of my favorites to contour my face because it really makes my contour look very, very good. It makes it look soft, which is what I like and what I find most important when I do use contouring brushes. I want the contour to look very soft where you can actually work in the product or you can even add more product if you want. And this brush does it for me because it's so soft and it really blends it in very, very good into the skin. Now for brows, I like to go um, back and forth. I like to use the Brow Wiz by Anastasia, but recently I've been using my dip brow a lot. I've actually almost hit pan on my dip brow. And I love to use it with the 12, the number 12 brush by Anastasia. I used to use, let me see if I still have it. Hold on. So I used to use this brush a lot. If you guys remember my recent YouTube videos, this is the one that I would seriously die for. This has been the brush that I've used since high school. And I still use it here and there, um, but ever since I discovered how good the number 12 brush by Anastasia is. Let's just say I dumped him and I went with somebody else. Just like that. I love this brush. I mean, the thing that I do like about it is that it does have a spoolie at the end and this one does not. And it really helps me when I'm doing my eyebrows and I added that extra product, I switch it over and I brush it out with the spoolie. And this one, you can't. I always have to get a different spoolie separately and do it. Um, don't get me wrong, this still shapes my eyebrows so, so good, and I will never, never throw him away, but this one has seriously changed my life, and I cannot put him down. Now, the last thing that I want to go ahead and mention to you guys is what I use in my freelance kit, and I just dropped it. Hold on. So when I do a lot of makeup on the weekends, I love to use my Ardell Medium Falsies, and these are the individual falsies, and I love these. This is really, really great if you guys have clients who are scared of 
putting on the band lashes where they think that they're going to fly away or they're gonna think that they are way too heavy. And sometimes, you guys, some people's eyes do water a lot and the inner corners always tend to come off. Um, and that's been one of my clients' biggest fears is um, knowing that their eyelashes are falling off in the middle of the dance floor, especially on hot summer days. So I, for those kind of people, I like to use the Individual Lashes by Ardell. They're my absolutely favorite individual lashes. They're also really great for elderly clients um, and for um, older women too, for mature skin. They don't like to have those heavy lashes either and these have been my go-to for years. I love to use these on clients and I don't think I will ever get rid of them because they are seriously a lifesaver and clients love them. So again, these are the Ardell um, medium and I like to use them small, medium and large ones too, depending on the style of makeup that I did on my client or depending on my client as well and how long they want them to look. All right, you guys, well, that is it for my Holy Grail products. These are the products that I use on a daily and that I love and that I can't seem to put down and that I will repurchase again and again. If you guys do like this video, please comment down below. What are your favorite um, products and what are your Holy Grail products that you can't seem to ever put down? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram, follow me on my journey. And I really appreciate all the love and the support you guys have given to me. And we're not gonna stop here, we're gonna continue to grow. So I love you and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.